Hello, this is Dr. Tom with a uh, presentation on NCES problem number 27. This particular problem is on the first law for open systems. So uh, let's get started. Okay, the uh, NCS solution suggests that the uh, enthalpy of the mixture is simply an average of the enthalpies of the incoming water and steam. Uh, not showing how this equation was determined has been very confusing. People asking why is it an average? And a figure like the following would have been helpful where you see water and steam coming into the mixing chamber and a mixture uh, going out. Okay, so with mixing chambers, uh, apply conservation of mass, the sum of the m dots uh, in equal the sum of the m dots out. So therefore, you'd have m dot water plus m dot steam equals the m dot mixture, uh, where you're given that the uh, m dot water and the m dot steam are equal, equal to 100 pound mass per minute. And this is where, the, where it comes out to where it looks like an average. Okay, so therefore the mixture is uh, is 200 uh, pound mass per minute. Okay, now uh, apply the conservation of energy, meaning the first law for open systems with multiple uh, inlet, inlets or outlets. We're not going to have any heat transfer uh, or uh, or uh, work done by the uh, uh, by the fluids. Uh, they're going to neglect changes in kinetic and potential energy. So what you have is the sum of the m dot h's going in equal to the sum of the m dot h's coming out. Okay, so what that means is m dot water times h water plus m dot steam times h steam, that's the two coming in, equals the one going out, the mixture m dot times h mixture. Okay, do the algebra, solve for h mixture, and what you get is uh, m dot water over the m dot mixture times h of water plus m dot steam divided by m dot mixture times the h of the steam. Okay. So this would be a general result uh, that you would get no matter what the m dots were. And this is what is uh, left out of the solution. Okay, well if you put in the mass flow rates, you get 100 over 200 times h of water and then 100 over 200 times h of steam. So that's a half h water plus a half h steam, which looks like half times h water plus h steam. So this is the uh, first equation and uh, looks like you're just averaging the enthalpies and uh, that, is, that is confusing and it doesn't need to be. Okay, so from the uh, uh, steam tables in the uh, reference handbook for 60 degrees, this is for atmospheric pressure, 60 degrees H of the water is 2808 BTUs per pound mass, the uh, H of the steam, uh, 1335.3 BTUs per pound mass. So uh, put those in, uh, the two values, and then divide by two, uh, get 681.7 BTUs per pound mass. And now this uh, value for the enthalpy at atmospheric pressure puts it in the saturated liquid vapor region. So uh, there's a quality associated with this. So the uh, standard definition, HF plus X, the quality times HG minus HF, or HG minus HF is HFG. So again, from the steam tables for atmospheric pressure, the HF is uh, 180.2 and the HFG is uh, 970.1 BTUs per pound mass. Uh, and it is uh, actually uh, at atmospheric pressure, that's really the latent heat of vaporization to go from liquid to, uh, to vapor. Substitute that into our uh, expression for X mixture, which will be H mixture minus HF over HFG. Uh, do the uh, the uh, units will come out uh, to be uh, non-dimensional, which is what we are looking for. We get um, the X mixture of about 0.52, which is answer C. Okay. Well, I hope that helps. Uh, again, uh, that concludes the presentation, and uh, we, as always, appreciate you allowing us to help you prepare for this exam.